Hi all, Rachel, Cosmic Unity here. Just wanted to talk to you today about something that's been on my mind, um, and that's why your psychic abilities are waiting to be activated, and what you can actually do now, today, to begin that activation now. So many people have been coming to me and asking me for advice on developing their psychic abilities, uh, and what they can do, and if they even do have psychic abilities. Uh, and the truth is that everyone has psychic abilities, everyone has the capability. Uh, I've spoken before in a video before about how they've just been suppressed by society's expectations of what we should be like, how we should live our lives and how we should fit in to be normal. Uh, so when you can get past these paradigms, uh, your, act, your pathway to activate these abilities is opened. It's like a gateway that just opens up for you to delve into those parts of yourself and bring them to the surface. Um, and so the reason why you want to activate your psychic abilities, um, I've been thinking about that. And from my point of view and my perspective, uh, the reason why it is so empowering and like a gold mine to dig into um, is because they enable your higher self to guide you more directly. Um, so a lot of us are finding we see numbers like 11, 11, 12, 12, 2, 22. Uh, these are synchronicities from your higher self that are coming through for you to take notice and go, oh, okay, cool, I'm listening, I'm listening. Thank you, universe. Uh, but when you're in tune with your psychic abilities, your higher self actually guides you much more directly, more like a guiding hand, a guiding friend, um, and more directly for you to notice more and more and to have more direct and succinct guidance um, for you to make decisions, um, you know, deciding what's next on your path. Uh, that can be a really tricky one, especially when you're at a crossroads or a fork in the road as you've got a few different directions you could go and you feel really scared and intimidated and don't know what to do. Uh, being in touch with your psychic abilities really, really helps you uh, to make the decision that's most optimal for you and that will put you on the brilliant pathway uh, rather than a dark or dim pathway. Um, so your higher self will begin to guide you more directly with conscious awareness and it's important to know people are talking a lot about higher selves and I don't think people fully understand what that is a lot of the time. Um, so in my opinion, your higher self is the you that has full remembrance of all the lives you've ever lived and all the lives you are yet to live and all the lives you're currently living because time is actually non-linear. Everything's all happening at the one time. Every life you've ever been in um, is all happening now, as crazy as that can sound and as hard as that is to wrap our head around. Time is just an illusion we've created to help us make sense of the world and help us make sense of the universe. So uh, when we can step out of time being linear and experience or understand it and comprehend it as non-linear, uh, that can make it easier for us to actually connect with all the lives we are living and bring forth into the present moment our skills and abilities and knowledge from all those different aspects of ourselves and bring them into this incarnation right now to help us get to our highest potential. So that's a part of what getting in touch with your psychic abilities is, is digging up the information from the Akashic records and um, all the lives you've ever lived and are yet to live and are living and pulling forth all that skills, knowledge and wisdom into this present moment now. Whether you're consciously aware you're doing that or not, um, it doesn't matter. Um, it can happen just through your unconscious mind gateway into your higher self. Uh, the unconscious mind is a gateway um, between this reality and any other reality uh, and a gateway from the physical into the spirit realm. Um, so that can be really beneficial to know because we um, are learning a lot about the conscious mind and subconscious or unconscious, whichever word you prefer to use. Uh, and when you take it and delve deep, 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 you realise that it is a, a huge gateway uh, that's just waiting to be activated um, and utilised to its highest potential. So that's what I do in my work is I work with the unconscious mind very, very closely. Um, so other reasons are to allow synchronicity and miracles in your life to just seemingly unfold, um, to give you the personal empowerment from within to take leaps with ease and grace. Um, so feeling that full potential and that full power within you, um, feeling 100% confident and trusting in what you're doing and what steps you're taking is an incredible feeling. Um, so many of us go through life feeling so uncertain, so indecisive, so unsure because we're 
feeling all those things about ourselves, we're feeling unsure and indecisive about ourselves, and a lot of the time we don't actually know much about ourselves. Uh, so it can be really hard to make decisions that are in line with our highest potential and our highest purpose when we don't know who we are. Um, another reason is just to enable you to feel supported at all times, knowing you are never alone and you have a team of, pe of you know, beings and spirits around you that are helping you make your decisions when you consciously work with them and you, you, know, you don't have to see them manifest in front of your eyes and be in the same room just like a human being would be standing in front of you to be able to work with them very closely uh, and have a good relationship with them. Uh, the relationships, I find that's where people get lost as they expect um, to have relationships with their spirit team, um, their angels, their spirit guides, just like a human being, just like a relationship with a human being. And that isn't how it works. We're on different densities, different realities, different dimensions, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so we need to break past those paradigms in order to be able to uh, speak with them on their level um, and they'll come down to our level slightly and we sort of meet in between. Uh, it's more so being open to unconventional uh, and unexpected ways of communication. Um, so what gets in the way of us uncovering our psychic abilities and help using them to help us reach our full potential? Well, when you realise that we exist to learn and we learn to exist, um, that's a really empowering phrase. Um, it means that this learning curve is just another part of your journey. Uncovering these parts of yourself, these psychic parts of yourself that we all have. No one is psychic and then non-psychic. We all have the abilities. Um, and activating them to an even higher potential than ever before uh, through utilising all the knowledge and wisdom you've experienced in this life uh, and beyond this life. Um, enables you to activate these abilities to a higher potential than ever before. Um, you know, bringing them through to their highest potential and working with them at a higher potential than ever before enables you to reach a higher potential than ever before in this lifetime or in any lifetime. Um, so we tend to limit our potentials by holding on to knowledge we have picked up along our journey uh, that is no longer serving us in the present moment. So just let that sink in. Knowledge that is no longer serving you in the present moment. It may have served you in the past, but it's no longer serving you now because it's limiting you. So this is what I mean by talking about programming and conditioning, um, unconscious mind traumas and stuff from, from childhood and things we've picked up along the way that we've been told and just instantly believed or told and instantly took them on as an identifying um, component of ourselves. Like, yes, I am this, I am this, I am this. Yes, that person told me this, I believe that, I believe that, I believe that. And then all these things come together and can build a wall uh, where you get stuck at um, and can't go any further because these, these beliefs and these experiences are blocking you from seeing over the wall, from climbing up and seeing over the wall to an even higher potential for yourself. So that is where accessing and working with the unconscious mind is super, super powerful because it gets rid of all that stuff that's not serving you and enables you to climb up and look over the wall and actually even um, consciously manifest what will be over the wall before you even climb up to look over. Um, so that when you do climb up to look over, it's exactly what you envisioned it to be and what you wanted it to be. Uh, so that's super, super, super empowerment there. Um, and so to be able to do this, we need to be consciously aware of our thoughts um, that are limiting. So when things come up that don't feel fully fitting anymore, you've had a thought that sort of seems quite negative and you're not sure, you know, if that belongs in your mind anymore, um, to grab onto it and just let it go. Um, this is sort of the metaphor I like to use is consciously sorting out the filing cabinet in your mind and chucking out the old files that don't belong in there anymore. And then this makes way for new higher frequency knowledge to come in and help you reach a higher frequency and a higher potential in your life. Um, so it's just really retaining the knowledge that moves you forward whilst releasing the knowledge that restricts and holds you back. So uh, I like to call it dead knowledge, getting rid of dead knowledge um, and then retaining the knowledge that is going to move you forward on the path that is most optimal for you, a path of your design, uh, because life happens for us, not to us. So 
you can create the future. You have the ability to work with all these parts of yourself and uncover them and step into a full empowerment to create your future. Because like I said, life, time is non-linear. There really isn't a future. It's all happening at the same time. So if you can take hold of your powers, your abilities, and be conscious of who you are and what goes on in here, uh, and you know, not be not be stuck in fear and regret and you know those negative emotions that keep us stuck and hold us back um, and keeps us unfulfilled. Uh, then you can design your future in the now moment by being present, not worrying about the future and not dwelling on the past, but holding your power in the present moment so that you can create what comes next. Um, and that takes a lot of self-accountability and a lot of looking within and digging through your mind and getting rid of what doesn't belong there anymore and what you do want in there instead. And that's where your psychic abilities really help you with that because they really help you to be so aware of yourself and what's going on within. Uh, and it takes a bit of courage to look within and really get to know ourselves, but when we do, um, you know, on the other side of fear is uncapped fortune, unconditional love, limitless potential. It is a wonderland. It is your own heaven here on earth. So when you can step out of this fear and loneliness and regret and all these dark, you know, lower density emotions and, and limiting thoughts that are in your mind, like I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, there's no way I'm psychic, there's no way I can do that, that's impossible. Like. Uh, when you can break free of those things, and you can easier than you may think, um, then you begin to step into your own heaven here on earth and create the life that you are dreaming about because you're only dreaming about it because the universe is showing you that it's possible for you. Um, the universe doesn't plant seeds in our mind that are never going to happen. If you're dreaming about it, you're already in the process of creating it. So, it's just really stepping into the powers that reside within you and always have. And I like to call this activating your divine genius. We all have a divine genius that lives in here and it's always waiting for us to get in touch with it and bring it out to show the world, bring it out to change the world um, through changing ourselves first. So that is the sort of limitless potential that's inside us that gives you that burning desire that burning knowing inside that you're here for a higher purpose, that you're here for more than working a nine to five job just to be able to afford to pay your bills and be stressed out and worried all the time. Um, that is not a natural state of being. That is not how we are supposed to be experiencing life. You are here to experience the fullness of life by stepping into the fullness of your being and embracing your divine potential and your divine genius and your divine abilities to create what you want um, and so you know that that voice inside that says there is so much more to life than this that's because there is and you're tapping into that potential for yourself you're tapping into it and you're getting in touch with it and it's telling you get on with it figure it out step into a higher frequency you and begin doing what you were put here to do because it's important that you do it especially at this time right now where in a huge time of change and all the light workers are being called forward, the universe is tapping them on the shoulder and telling them to get on with it, sort themselves out and become selfless and of service to self and others at the same time um, so that we can help move humanity into a higher state of consciousness, into a place where, you know, we won't need to be working nine to five in jobs we hate in order just to survive. Uh, when you really think about that, how messed up does that, does that seem? And that's what a majority of people do. So, so I'm here to help people step out of the paradigms that have been programmed into them from, you know, the start of their life to beyond in other lives that are still holding them back in the present moment so that they can step into their full potential and create the life they wish, uncover their psychic abilities um, and really embrace their full potential and get to know who they truly fully are beyond this human body. So that's what I help people to do. And um, when you can exist in, you know, a lot of people then say to me, well, do I have to run away with the hippies into a commune and, <laughs> and live like that? No, that's not what, 
that's not what I'm saying. That's not what you need to do. You can exist in society, just normal society, I do, and be in your full potential and speak your truth and own your truth and love every aspect of yourself and you will realise that other people do not judge you like you expect them to. There is When you don't have the fear, you don't hold the fear of judgement, um, the fear of being weird, the fear of being different, then people actually look up to you and they love you and they follow your lead. Um, even if you're in a corporate environment, I've, I've experienced that. And so when you are your full authentic self and you're embracing your full self, other people follow because you're a light leading the way. So <clears throat> I've um, been in, very busy in the process of creating uh, something that was speaking to my heart and the universe was telling me to do was to create an environment where women could come together and work together to be fully empowered um, to activate their psychic abilities and bring them forth to their full potential and work together um, in harmony with the universe to create the lives they wish to live. So I've been working very hard on bringing together all my abilities and skills and, and knowledge um, to create something very powerful and amazing. So I'm calling it the Mind Moon. Um, harmony um, and basically it's going to be a sisterhood um, that utilizes a system I've developed for uncovering developing and embracing your psychic abilities um, which will help you to get you living to your full potential um, and create the life you wish of living um, whether that be living in line with your sole purpose uh, if you know what that is if you don't know what that is it doesn't matter it's available for people at all levels um, and it's really about marrying the science-proven mindset tools that um, I have studied along with my natural psychic abilities and um, knowledge and um, experiences, along with um, some energy healing and metaphysical tools to bring about complete mind-body-spirit transformation to get you in your highest frequency potential. So it's all going to be in a loving, nurturing, sisterhood um, environment that's very compassionate um, and very supportive um, and it's going to be for a very affordable price much much more affordable than doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with me uh, and it's just going to be this magical beautiful space of women coming together and working towards their highest potentials and discovering so many beautiful parts of themselves so if you're interested in that i'm still in the process of um, getting it all created and whatnot but it will be up very soon um, so if you're interested in the Mind Moon Harmony Sisterhood, um, just drop your favourite emoji in the comments and I'll send you some information and have a chat. Um, there will be a screening process for it just to make sure that everyone that's in the sisterhood is suitable and we're all on a similar wavelength and we can all get along. Uh, so I'm very excited to bring that forward. I've been working on it for a little time now and uh, working with my higher self and my team um, to bring down the best um, information for you uh, at this moment in time. It'll be a 12 month membership um, where we'll get together every month and I'll be doing um, recorded hypnosis and meditations and all sorts of things, working with these mindset tools as well as things like astrology, energy healing, all that stuff, bringing it all together in beautiful harmony to bring about full mind, body, spirit transformation. Um, and you will come out a completely transformed, empowered woman. So. Drop your favourite emoji and I'll send you some info. Love and light. Mwah.